my hair right before heading off to the office. I just wanted to say hey for everyone who's new here. I'm Anna and I have recently moved to Montreal after five years living in Toronto. I have started my career in culinary and during COVID had to transition to the office job due to how freaking unstable the food industry was. By a very lucky circumstances, I could land a job in media and join one of the biggest agencies in Canada as a media system planner. And I've been remote since I started this job, so this is one of the first times I went to the office for a full day. Not gonna lie, working from home is just so wonderful for someone like me. I'm not too too social, I feel way more comfortable in my own bubble. Plus, I just know for a fact that I'm very awkward at small talk. I think my English is pretty good, but sometimes I still struggle with the language barrier. I need a bit more time to process things before I reply to someone. So, I don't know. Let's see where this day takes us. like shit. As you've probably already noticed, my partner and I work at the same office. And yes, it is because we indeed are employed for the same company. However, we work for different departments and we never intersect each other at work. At first, it felt a bit weird that we both ended up working at the same place. But on a day-to-day -day basis, you don't really feel it. Our routines are completely different. And the only perk that we're getting out of it is that we can commute to and from the office together. And it's not as horrible as if I had to do it myself. more about what I actually do if you're not familiar with media field. Working in planning means coming up with advertising ideas and budget allocations for specific clients, big or small, depending which agency you're working at. It's not as creative as I anticipated before I started this job. In reality, you just need to do tons of background work such as contracts, reporting, system inputting, and all of that. But I still believe that it's a great field to develop various skills and just become more detail focused and organized. My day-to-day -day is usually pretty busy with meetings. Not all of them are very demanding since I can just sit there and listen, but I will say that for someone introverted like me, sometimes I get exhausted just from attending the meetings and nothing else, which kind of leaves you with a feeling that you've done nothing that day. You're mute. Good, how are you? I guess in a job like this, it's really important who you work with, your team and your direct management. In my case, I got extremely lucky with the team and I honestly can't imagine working for someone else on my first job in the industry. They've just been extremely supportive when I joined and I've learned a lot of things from them. Can you hear me? I think I figured it out. 
Yeah. So now it's so much better. No, she didn't send anything yesterday. So just call me right now. I'll I'll call you back in a second, okay? It's one to four. <laughs> but we have this um, we have to see how goals right from two to pretty much three forty five, so Okay, let me know like once you connect with Maria, let me know if you can because if you do then yes, I will just I will come back to the Amazon stuff and jump on the ball. Alright, talk later then. Thank you. Bye. This is me awkwardly sitting in the corner and eating my sandwich but I just wanted to cover a few things that I frequently get asked first one being how did I find a job in Montreal and the answer is I did not job hunt in Montreal luckily when I was hired back in Toronto the entire company was remote and that allowed me to relocate and keep my employment we do have offices in both Toronto and Montreal so I guess that also was a valid point in case if I need to be hybrid then it will not be an issue I guess now with a lot more companies is returning back to the office moving to different provinces will become more complicated but even in this case it's not a bad idea to reach out to your management and just see if there are possibilities to accommodate your plans another question is the most asked which is do you really need to know French to move to Montreal and my answer is yes even considering that some areas are more English speaking French is definitely way more welcomed here there are circumstances where it's kind of really hard to get by with only English and especially Especially if you're planning to find a job here, you would probably need a decent level of French. I guess it really depends on which industry you work in, but speaking from my POV, working in media, I would have troubles landing a job in Montreal. Well, yeah. um, look. Lobby is free! Most of my days end here 
in front of the laptop again editing youtube videos so that some days feel like i have two full-time jobs starting at 9 in the morning and finishing by 10 o'clock at night youtube has been one of my dreams for so many years and at this moment i'm just grateful to have time and creative capacity to produce these videos maybe not necessarily on a weekly basis but i'm trying to get there and invest everything in me to grow this channel wrapping up this video i just want to say thank you for sticking till the very end and please support my channel by subscribing and liking my videos this way i'm gonna be 10 times more driven to film at extra speed see you in the next one bye